this film is sponsored by Ultimate Performance. Choose the right insole for your trail running shoes using their easy foot arch test. Simply stand on a piece of paper with wet feet and examine your footprint. Find out what happens next at the end of the video. I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Running, author of the Ultimate Trail Running Handbook, and I'm here in the Misty Peak District with Vicky Mosley. Hello. Today we're going to be testing two pairs of Salomon Speed Crosses. So this is the five, and this is the new six. These are three millimeters closer to the ground. They're lighter by 50 grams per pair, and they've got this new Y-shaped grip for improved traction on wet surfaces, and it's also supposed to shed mud more quickly. There's also some similarities as well. So the price is the same, 130 pounds. That's pretty good, isn't it? Because usually yep. when you get an upgrade to a shoe, the price usually goes yep. up. Um, the drop is the same from heel to toe, so we've got 10 millimeters. This is the same midsole. It's the Energy Cell Plus padding and rebound. Um, there's the same snug toe box, but both are available in a wide fit too. Um, there's also a Gore-Tex version available for both of them as well. It's the same look really. This, um, the Speed Crush is a bit of an iconic shoe, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> yeah, so um, it's one of the first trail shoes that I remember, apart from like your Innovates and your Walshes. Yeah. It's one of the first that were really, really grippy. Um, so they've sort of taken the same sort of design and just upgraded it over yeah. the years. So I've worn these for years and years and years. Yeah, definitely for loads of different races. So we are today going to put this to the test in a very muddy peak district. <laughs> Great stuff. we go, testing the Salomon Speed Cross 6 compared to the 5. We found some mud already! Yay! I think we need to find some better mud. Yes. Which I think will be down here. It was down here last time. I feel that they're both the same at the minute. I feel they both feel very similar on the rock. Similar grip yeah. on rock, very yeah. similar. Very stretchy. Hey! <laughs> I'm quite scared then. If I'm honest, I'm actually very scared. It's, it is quite a warm day, but not warm enough for a swim, no, I don't think. Not at all. <laughs> So you can see the Y shape on the six and no Y shape, the traditional chevron on the fives. See already we've got them quite dirty as you can see. Don't really know why anyone would make a white trail running shoe, but it is now a brown trail running shoe. <laughs> yeah, so we were just having a chat about the different upper materials and the sixes seem a bit more comfy. It's sort of a bit more of a lightweight, a, cre yeah, lightweight crepe type yeah. material. It doesn't feel quite as robust though as the five. No. Yeah. So we're wondering longevity wise whether the uh, six maybe wouldn't last as long, but only time will tell. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> We really need more mud, but interestingly, look at the shoes. Mud, not as much mud. Look, oh, ooh, one. loads of mud on that one. Yeah, and, and you're then... not nearly not as, as much. much. Surprising. We are so cynical. Me and Vicky have we been are. reviewing shoes for years, and we're like, oh, it's just another market. It it. But it appears that the yep. Older speed cross five has definitely got more mud in it. Yeah, definitely. Than the new sixes. On both of us. Ah! Not a lot of mud. 
loads of mud. And stones. Especially in the heel. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. Yeah. In, the, in the heel. And, and then this mud. one, exactly the same much. route. Yeah. Not as much mud. No stone. Ah, good. <laughs> we look like some weird creature. We're definitely grippy on that. So when we get to the river, yeah. we should swap shoes. Oh, Haribo. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Time to get the waterproof out, it's actually raining now. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely weather. Lovely weather for shoe testing. We should have come and done a waterproof test. How come, test today, how yeah. come when we do the waterproof test, it's <coughs> blimmin' sunny when August weather? When we do the weather. shoe test, there's no mud. Yeah. And when we do the waterproof <laughs> test, there's no rain. Yeah. This rain's gonna wash these white shoes clean by the end. <laughs> Lovely weather. Hello. Hi Dave. It's <laughs> Good way of testing them. If you ever want to do learn more about now, work with Dave, he's called Flower Running Guide. He's done some reviews on this channel too. Um, I'll link up to his shoe review here. Hi nice views. You can actually see some views. So We've swapped the shoes over and um, the, the difference has become marked again, hasn't it? Yes. We can really notice the difference again. So we were, before we tried them, I wasn't really sure that three mil drop would really no. make a difference to the stack height of the shoe. Still the same drop of from heel to toe of 10 millimeters. But actually we've both found that the new shoe, the six, is a lot more flexible. Yes. There's just less there. Um, and feels more responsive, doesn't it? Yeah, the five feels quite clumpy on the yeah. heel in comparison. Clumpy on the heel, yeah. yeah. Like you can really feel like there's a heel to the 10 mil yeah. drop, I found. Whereas the the sixes, they're still 10 mil drop, but you just feel closer to the ground. Yeah. So it's amazing that three mils yeah. can make that much difference. <laughs> Especially for someone like me who never bothers with drop at all yeah. ever. It makes no difference to yeah. me. Uh, but it has, I, I can feel it definitely. Yeah. It's really, really interesting. I'm sure these sheep are really interested too. <laughs> so actually, <laughs> both been quite cynical, haven't we, about yeah, the new but shoes? Yeah, been quite good. Th this test has been really good to wear them on, on both feet. Yes. It's actually a good way to test them. <laughs> walking through the ginger bracken. I do approve of plants that go the same colour as my hair in the autumn. You can hardly tell the difference. <laughs> right, so we've run five miles now on the yep. Burbage skyline with um, the two different speed crosses, five and six. We've swapped over as well. Yeah. Um, and we're really pleased, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, there's a definite difference. Yeah, there's a definite difference between the two pairs, which is great because they're the same price, so £130. You can choose really which one suits you best. So we think that the the slightly heavier, only 50 gram heavier, yeah. um, the fives, will are a bit more robust. Yeah, possibly would last longer. We're not sure. We'd have to test that. Yeah, but so for that reason, they felt a little bit more cushioned and a bit more like a bit more padded over in, the toes. Yeah, and the things. upper felt a bit more cushioned and yeah. less room in the toe box a little yeah. bit perhaps. And then the sixes, it felt like a bit more roomy in the toe box because of that new sort of crepey, yeah. lightweight feel upper. Yeah. Um, the three mil stack height reduction for the sixes made quite a difference. May, makes a real difference yeah. actually, because I didn't really think about the flexibility of the shoe. No. The um, the fives feel a lot more chunky. Yeah, and a bit clumpy on the a heel, don't they? A bit more clumpy on the yeah. heel, yeah. So, so it just depends what you prefer really. Yeah because they still sell both of them. Yeah. Mud shedding, mm. we were surprised. Very surprised. That that's not just like a, a marketing gimmick, gimmick <laughs> of which there are many in the outdoor world. 
but yeah so we were surprised about that and we thought that was great yeah the grip seemed equally grippy yeah definitely on wet there didn't seem to be any difference in the grip yeah so i'm sure it is still as good as yeah, it was definitely um we were on gritstone just there so that is quite yeah. a grippy rock yeah. so we haven't tried it on limestone or anything no. um so that was good um the laces they were equally yeah, good exactly the same possibly a bit more robust with the sixes because of that reinforced yeah. lace yeah um and what else was there that was, was, that was different everything. still the same midsole it was quite yeah. bouncy wasn't it on, yeah. the, on the less rocky stuff that we did i think which do you prefer um do you know i think i prefer the new ones yeah i think yeah. i do as well a bit more of a race shoe they feel like yeah i yeah. prefer the new ones yeah. i prefer basically i prefer the lower drop yes. feeling because yeah, i feel too. in the fives a i feel like the 10 mil drop is a real heel stack yeah whereas in the sixes the 10 mil you don't really feel like it's 10 mil no. drop no. yeah we think it's again a really solid shoe from salem and the speed crosses are always going to be a, yeah. a big a big popular big seller shoe yeah um it's got great grip it's very comfy. Laces are really quick and easy to do. Um, it's it's fairly light. It's 527 grams, which is much more in line with the average yes, trail shoe. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the weight of the fives um, is 577 grams. Yeah. This is for a pair, not just yeah. one shoe. <laughs> I hope you've really enjoyed that review. We've had great fun. Great fun. Them. Lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, the shoes are not white anymore. <laughs> also available in other colours. Right. Okay. Thanks everyone for Thank watching. You. If you want any more gear reviews, then click up here. And if you want to know loads more about trail and ultra running, then my book is the ultimate trail running handbook and you can get it on Amazon um, in the links in the film description below. So um, yeah, we're going to go and get tried out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Bye. See you on the trails. Bye. I've done the ultimate performance foot arch test and according to their handy online guide, mine is neutral. So I need the advanced F3D neutral insole, but you might need the support or cushion version. Find out now and buy from upmedical.co.uk. And we don't know why anyone would make a shoe white. No, it may not be white by the end of today. Just to check. Yeah. Ah, I need hurt. It's, camera. it's not the shoes. <laughs> it's the fact that I'm filming. And at least we got it on camera, hey? <laughs>